Islamic countries are finally awakened. A change that's taken place. To find their own future without interference from the West. <laughs> This was Pavlo Lapshin's training ground, a secluded forest in Ukraine where he could test and practice his bomb making. But he was only ever cautioned in his homeland and came to England to kill. Having murdered and bombed three mosques in the West Midlands, Lapshin then calmly explained why he'd done it. Uh, murder was committed on the basis of um, racial hatred. I um, uh, using a knife, I um, stabbed him three times. The 25-year-old's ideology made little sense. His own grandmother had been Muslim, but within days of arriving in Birmingham, he'd stabbed Mohammed Salim to death. He was heading home from evening prayers. He had 23 grandchildren. It has been a long and emotional day for us all. And we feel that His Honourable Judge Sweeney, Sweeney's summing up was concise and succinct. The sentence orders ordered is what we hope for and reflects the seriousness of Pavlo Lapsin's crimes of terror. He has been convicted under the Terrorism Act for our father's murder and the bombings of the mosques. Pavlo Lapsin's bombs were first laid in Walsall. The following week it was Wolverhampton. Then he packed a device with nails and detonated close to this mosque in Tipton. Shrapnel was left embedded in trees. 